I'm Dr. Sharma, Senior Consultant Urologist, Apollo Hyderabad. We have acquired the robotic machine in 2012, late last quarter, and we have been performing the robotic procedures. What are all the procedures are being performed before, either in open or laparoscopic procedure, has been performed by this robot. The robot has got a three parts. As a one is the main robot, which has got a four arms, as you can see, and this is the arm number one and this is the arm number 2 on this side and then arm number 3 on this side whereas this is part for the central camera and the system what we use is SI system there is a patient cart and the console the surgeon sits at the console and perform the surgery it is a master and slave system the robot will never perform the surgery the surgery is problem the commands are given by the operating surgeon and inside the robot performs the most difficult task which cannot be performed by human beings normally. All the difficult tasks, the difficult areas have been tackled. So it is absolutely a wonderful machine. What I am showing you now is the surgeon's console. It has got the vision area with the hand area and the leg area and foot control. This is the area where the main vision is performed and then we just peep inside and it has got a three dimensional vision and then this is the armrest where we can have the adjustment of the entire thing can be programmed from here these are the control this is the master control where with the movements outside the body the same movements are replicated inside the patient's body through the robotic arms and now if you look at the bottom you got a various switches of various different colors this is the monopolar current, this is the bipolar, this is the master control for the camera control, this is the master control. The whole system is controlled with this master control and this is the change of arms on my left hand. It's a lever, a gear what you call, where once you give a small tap, the arm switch from one to the other arm. As I have told you before, see this is the robotic arm, has got a multi hinge joint. This can be moved in this direction, in this direction or they got a clutch control, it can be moved from one side to the other side, it can be made up and down. So all the possible movements, what are all the movements that we can want, the desired movements can be performed with this robot. This is a fixed point. As long as this is in a fixed position, the only this portion will move, where this is attached to the patient's body and then where the, all the movements can be performed, forward, backward, left, right and then the circular movements. All can be performed without any pressure at the patient's skin site or on the abdominal wall. This is the position of the patient before we are docking the robot to the patient. Naturally, you look at the umbilicus, show the umbilicus. You look at the umbilicus from where the incision is started. Put your finger. And then from here to the down, a long midline incision is given from this place to this place instead. Now the whole procedure is performed through these three holes and then one of the hole the specimen will be extracted and then subsequently the patient will be shifted out. Thank you.